Hey baby, I'm filming this in the comfort of my bed because I did attempt to film a sit down video. Oh, oh, fucking stupid bitch. <laughs> oh, it just didn't really work out. Neither is this. Get rid of the handprints from sex. A lot of them. I promise I am not a nymphomaniac. I always thought nymphomaniac meant that you were having sex with dead people. Excuse me? s and M. I thought that meant sex and money. I was like, Rihanna, I can say it because I've done heinous things to make a quick buck on the go. You wouldn't believe. What is this video supposed to be? Oh. We're not talking about sex and money. We're actually talking about my face, my appearance. This is a video about my appearance. Can we go back to talking about sex and money? I'm much more well versed. No, I'm not versatile. I'm actually defunct. Oh my God, I'm bored already. I'm making this video to defend myself against these bloody haters who keep asking me for plastic surgery advice. I just want to say I have never had a plastic surgery. What I did have was reconstructive after the error of being born in the wrong body, okay? Just because I'm beautiful does not mean I've had plastic surgery. Get yes, out of my DMs, DMs. 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 alright? It's all reconstructive here. No plastic, no plastic surgery. surgery. It's all reconstructive after the error of being born in the wrong body. I was going to make a montage of my face just so you could get up close with it. Can't be bothered. So instead I recommend signing up to my OnlyFans. That will explore every crevice. Maybe a little too many crevices. It's disgusting. <laughs> Hang on, babes. A little something something on the on the lens. It feels unethical allowing the wider public to see my Ooh. unnatural beauty without a paywall. I could go through life only ever being viewed on OnlyFans, so I would. I like to think of my time with my old face as prehistoric because I was once called Tranisaurus Rex while walking down the street. Everybody wants to be a doll until they're walking down the street and someone's calling out, Oi, Tranisaurus Rex. <laughs> Is my neck red? Is that normal? Is it just the makeup difference? Am I having an allergic reaction to something? It's the filming for YouTube. I'm rejecting it. That's not true. I call my transition the crack to estrogen pipeline. After getting a full face in Gangnam, I do consider myself somewhat Korean. Just not in an Ollie London on Young Asayo way, although we did have the same surgeries. For some reason, I just turned out looking a lot less oily. The question I got asked the most after getting my reconstructive surgeries was, how much did you pay? No offense. Who asks this sugar baby how much she paid? Don't know the last time I paid the bloody anything. I'd ask my financial father for the cost breakdown, but unfortunately he's passed. Our financial father who asked in heaven, what was the reconstructive surgery cost? From my pocket, I paid nothing unless you count the bone for a loan as payment. BDSM to the ATM sort of thing. Oh my gosh. Looking in the lens finder more than I would usually would. It's a different camera and it looks bloody gorgeous. <laughs> Since sharing my experience online, I've had cosmetic hospitals around the world reach out to me, begging me to get surgery done with them. Like I already haven't had enough. Charming. What more could they possibly do? I'm one jaw shave away from my jawline becoming my cheekbone. Unless Korean hospitals start offering vaginoplasties and tracheals. I'm not interested. I'd go on a cosmetic holiday for veneers. I just can't decide between bleached arsehole white or American eggshell. And I'm nervous. Like I'd probably break the porcelain button down on a word as original. How embarrassing having your tooth fly off because you bit down on a crouton. Even if I had the widest shade of veneers done, they'd be Cadbury Dairy Milk within a week. Have a fetish for old men and chocolate. Both stain your teeth. It's the sugar and formaldehyde. I've had dentistry hospitals in Turkey reach out for a collab. I'm just not looking to get hate crime while well under the knife. It's okay though, because Dubai Dental has also reached out for a collab and I think that'll be fine as long as I don't get off the tarmac. One step in Dubai and I won't be getting new teeth, but I will be losing all the ones I've got. She's sultry, she's sexy, and you were born anatomically male. She's transsexual. I used to walk into a room and just stand there. Now I walk into a room and everybody tells me how beautiful I am. Nobody told me being beautiful would be a side effect of my my reconstructive surgery. I'm thinking of releasing a self-help guide for post-op dolls who've had surgery in Korea. It's really rough going from drop dead ugly to drop dead gorgeous overnight. Somebody needs to tell you how to navigate it. Step one, you've got to start concealing your face. Wear a mask. Wear a hat, wear a hoodie. The world is not ready for your unnatural beauty. I've always wanted to drop dead, but now that I'm drop dead gorgeous, 
I've got a new outlook on life. Pretty privilege is real and all it took was extensive sugar daddy funded Korean reconstructive surgery for me to achieve her. <laughs> I need a new set of lungs. Do you think ID Hospital does lung transplants? I'm now a borderline biological woman living a borderline biological life. It's gorgeous. It's bloody gorgeous, babe. It's gorgeous. Do you think I'm Adi? No. Can you film me? No. We can never have bruise. We just take it. I'm never bruise.